Hey guys, this is Bharat Vaj with Phonearena.com and this is the Xperia Z3, Sony's latest flagship smartphone. One of the clear USPs of the Z3 is of course the camera. Since the Z1, Sony's hardware for the camera has almost been consistent but a lot of changes in software has not only added features but made the camera experience much better. Another USP of the Z3 and other Xperia devices is the ability to protect itself from water and dust. Couple those two USPs and you get something that other flagships are not capable of. We are going to explore that and more in this video. Let's go ahead. First up, let's get the specifications out of the way. The camera unit on the Xperia Z3 is a 20.7 megapixel 1x2.3 inch type XMOR RS sensor with Sony's own Bionz image processor doing the heavy lifting. The G lens is a 25mm equivalent wide angle unit with an aperture of f2.0. The sensor variant and the lens unit are newer compared to the Z2. On the waterproofing side, the phone comes with a IP65-68 rating, making underwater photos and videos possible. The phone can stay underwater for 30 minutes with a maximum depth of 1.5 meters. So as mentioned earlier, the combination of both these features provides interesting results and this is what we tested out. Ever since Snapdragon 800 happened, Sony's phones have had 4K video support. A 4K video has 4 times the pixels of a 1080p video and it results in absolutely clear output that can safely be played on large TVs. We wanted to test this capability out so we took the Z3 to a water park and went on a splashy ride. Here's how it turned out. This is something not possible on most other phones out there and we were literally the only ones in the park with the phone on us, on a ride. Next up, we also wanted to test the underwater capabilities, not just splash proofing. So we made a really meta slow motion video featuring the Z3 Compact which is practically the smaller version of the Z3. And yes, the phone can record 720p video at 120fps and it even has time shifting capability to let you choose the different parts of the video you want slowed down. Here's the video we shot. Apart from this, there are other standout features like multi-camera which lets you pair your phone with other Xperia phones and use their viewfinders to take a single photo or video with multiple angles. This is one feature that we want to see on other flagship phones too, especially with the NFC pairing making it super easy. Now on to photos, we have the usual superior auto mode with 8 megapixel oversampled photos and the manual mode for taking full resolution 20.7 megapixel snaps. The phone generally takes great shots in most lighting conditions, so here are some sample photos to demonstrate the performance. Now when it comes to low light, Sony has introduced the highest ISO ever on a smartphone with 12800 being the limit. We shot photos as well as videos in low light, while there is a lot of processing going on, the images are usable and the video we shot in 4K is also pretty good, so check them out.
So these are the major capabilities that we wanted to highlight on the Sony Xperia Z3. It was really quite an experience to take a good camera into the water and take photos and videos without the fear of damaging it. The other features were just icing on the cake. We have all the samples separately uploaded which you can take a look at from the links in the description below. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for more videos like these. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below.